Ha <laughs> ha! Sir, Jibby me, Jibby. Really? Totally. Please. Welcome back. It's episode three, and Sheena and Ken are having an amazing honeymoon at this beautiful house. The live build and tour for it is on the channel, so go ahead and have a look at that. But yes, you did see him at the end of episode two. You'll understand a little bit more about this man as we go along in the season. But first, look at this beautiful house. to use the boys room be right back mm -hmm. well they seem to be having more than just an amazing time and yes ken needs to use the little boys room but he's also sneaking away to engage in some other activity that he just can't seem to get away from So it's Saturday in Simtown, it's the weekend, and all the young boys and girls are getting ready to have fun sometime later on in the day. But Ebony here, again, as you know, has chores. Her mother isn't home yet. She should be back any minute now because she's done the night shift and she needs to, you know, take over from Ebony because Ebony's taking care of her younger sister, Megan. So she's just put out the laundry and perhaps she's got some detergent on her hands so she's going to come in here and wash her hands clean because she's dealing with a younger child so you know she's learned from her mum to really be careful and, and keep clean when taking care of another person and of course your own self so she's going to get into the fridge and see what's in there and I can't overstress how disappointed I am that we can't cook in AR here's the little one she's staying out of trouble let's get her up to come to the kitchen because we need to give her some breakfast breakfast now let me stop her from her activity in the fridge she was almost done and get her to call her mother and say you know where are you because I'm running late and I'll tell you why let me just get the little one over here where is she there she is toddling along <laughs> So yes, Ebony has a part-time job at the local mall uh, where she serves food at the fast food court and you're going to see that very soon. But look at this cute little bunny here. She's just gorgeous in this lovely leopard print outfit. So, oh my, look at that. She wants to fly. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Ebony is really panicking and doesn't want to get into trouble with her line manager or her boss. You know how it is. But look at this beautiful PJ. It's gorgeous. <laughs> That's gloop on it, isn't it? So this little one is saying, me, 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 can I have some food, please? And so on. And gorgeous thing. Look at her fly. So we're done with this call and it's time to give her some food. Come back here. Where is she going? We'll give her mashed vegetables so she can sit here for a long time. I don't want her wondering. Off. Oh, she almost smacked her on the head. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, now it's time to head to the mall. Well, 
welcome welcome to the bubblegum pup mall and i have to tell you this was a very hard space to build because it's a small plot and it's got everything i think a mall should have inside of it <laughs> i just love this space uh you've got the beautiful photo boot further down the back this is where you have the cinema to the right and then you've got the area for buying clothes and bags and shoes up top and then you've got the fast food court on your left here now the first place we're going to pop in and have a look at is the cinema now there is a payphone on the side here in this mall what is a mall without a payphone and here is the entrance to my cinema and i tell you everything is in here so we've got pamela and susan here because they want to watch a film it's the weekend they're having fun and it's got everything that a cinema should have it's got the popcorn stand right there and we've got uh an information board on the side here for the new films that are coming out are planned uh, from within you can see the mall there's an area to sit down here we've got film posters and through these doors we have the actual cinema theater and I've gone for the red chairs and you know everything in AR is free so I reach for the most expensive things or fabulous things but look at my people they're well dressed they're sat down enjoying the popcorn and the lights aren't turned down quite yet because the film hasn't quite started started look at this shoes <laughs> i really thoroughly enjoy playing in ar look at this fabulous sim here sitting down just enjoying her time alone just me time i've got speakers in here as well look at that so it booms in the space okay now let me get pamela and susan to get some popcorn for themselves so that they can get in because any time now their film should start and pamela already has got a very busy day after she's done socializing with susan she's off to go socialize with her brother tom and simon so we'll see about that later so there's the popcorn so it looks as though they give you like a paper bag for you to then help yourself to some popcorn and they could give you a medium or a large or a small and then you help yourself and look at them standing together enjoying themselves and look at them all from behind <laughs> okay i'm very excited about this build earlier on pamela reached out to ebony to join them for this beautiful time out but ebony had said that she had a shift to work at the fast food court across the way in the mall so sadly ebony can't be part of the fun group as it were now let me get pamela to quickly grab a couple of chairs for the pair of them and then let's get the royal highness susan to join her where's she gone she's gone the other way here we shall where is she or just stay here and wait <laughs> because she's royal they're never late well there she is and she's just taking her time would you hurry up please <laughs> Right, so now they're sat down and they're going to enjoy a lovely film. One thing I know a lot of simmers have been talking about is we need different um, things, you know, to show up on the screen instead of what we've had for the past seven years. I absolutely agree. Simon's invited me to the club later. I can't come. I'm attending a royal gala. Well, my father's out of town. I get to party till late. Okay, across the way in the mall, we have the bubblegumsnacks.com and you have beautiful bits and bobs to eat here. Sit down, hang out with friends. It's a lovely space. And Ebony does come here to work every other weekend and make a few bits and bobs, you know, pocket money. This is one of her friends who's waiting for her to finish her shift so they can go to the park. That's what they do. Her name's Jane and a few people are dotted around waiting to place an order. So this is my version of some kind of McDonald's, right? <laughs> right, let me get them to start placing an order. So I've got a sim selected and we're going to go for party milkshakes. Most of these items were unlocked in the kids party time event and you know we had all these lovely snacks that you could just click on a sim they'd take something from the tray or array of snacks and just stand up and eat so now ebony's quite busy we've got a chef back there and she's taking the orders it's quite a hectic afternoon so let's kind of walk through what she has to sell popcorn chips sweets uh, the chef back there is grilling some burgers i would assume and then we've got the takeaway bags here and so on 
so what we'll do now is get someone to stand over there get some popcorn and usually they would line up in this front part of the store so let's get some fries and let's get him to get some popcorn and you can see they're lining up <laughs> this is what I absolutely love you click on them and then they line up as though they're waiting to pay for it although they're eating it first which is not allowed let's get some milkshake and there he goes and he lines up isn't that perfect they do this every single time <laughs> let's head to the club As you know, Tom and Pamela's father is out of town, so they've decided to sneakily take their father's Jaguar out and driven it to this venue to have fun, to show off to their friends. But this is the reception part of this club. That's the staircase leading upstairs to an outdoor lounge. And this is the door that leads into the restrooms. You've got one for him and one for her. That's the wash sink area. And straight through in the corner here, you've got this really beautiful chic black toilet unit here. And it's beautiful. You've got the gold accents, the white units, and the black surrounds. It's just beautiful. It's the same across the way, so we're not going to go in there, uh, but we are going to have a look very quickly at parts of the club. So they've handed over their wristbands and they're gonna go in and have fun. I'll tell you one thing though. One of the reasons that Dennis is here is that he's quite excited to meet up with Pamela and try and get to know her better and maybe befriend her in a way that's more than just classmates so he's got his eyes on that prize for the evening we wish him the best of luck It's a very important night for Simon and that's why he's invited all his friends and the owner of the club is having a quick word with him and wants to ensure that he's got his head screwed on right, is telling him that he doesn't want to hear about any trouble, fighting, drinking and just keep your head down and get mixing a good beat and who knows you might get a grand opportunity to work here permanently. So Simon has been given the go ahead and he's going to get mixing and riding the waves of this amazing downtown club. His friends are already here. You can see Tom and you can see Dennis in the corner having a good time. So they're going to let him get on with his work and they're going to head on downstairs to get dancing and enjoying what Simon does best and that's mixing music. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. So Dennis is not having a good time at this point. He was hoping to make a connection with the beautiful Pamela, uh, who is the sister to Tom. And Tom is none the wiser. He has no idea that Dennis has a crush on his sister. And what's even more complicated for Dennis is that Pamela has a thing for Simon. And he's just realized that this night when he saw them upstairs, 
expressing this to each other. It couldn't get any messier. His best friend, Tom, well, he thinks that's his best friend, is the brother to this beautiful girl. And his other friend, Simon, is actually the one who has, seemingly has, Pamela's heart. He's very uncomfortable and quite tense. So he's thinking, a little drink here, a little drink there, and I'll be able to take the edge off, calm down, and in no time I'll be home and I'll get over it. This is his first time coming out with these group of friends and he wants to feel a part of the gang and so he's having a drink and when Tom has one he has another and when Tom has another he has another and they're keeping up with each other. Dennis has never had a drink in his life but Tom has had more than one or two or even many. <laughs> now he's going to call it a day, head back into the dance arena uh, because he feels he's the one responsible for driving them home. But Dennis has another. Well, 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 well.